good evening one and all in this session we are going to see cbsc class 9 information and communication technology unit 1 that is basics of information technology as we know that cbsc has revised the syllabus for this session in this session there are going to be three main units first is basics of it second is cyber safety and th uh, third is office tools right in first unit we are having the basics of information technology in this there are several topic in this session we are going to cover the highlighted portion and in the next section we will cover the rest of the portion that will be left out now we will see in basics of information and communication technology that what is a computer at all computer is something that take up your instructions right that work on program now just tell me that what is a program write in the chat box that what do you understand by program okay shivam is saying it is a set of instruction correct shivam a uh, program is set of instructions and a computer are bound to perform those instructions one by one okay now second thing is what is computer system as you can see the child is playing something on the computer now there are two things in computer system one is hardware and second is software as this child can see the application software on the screen but he can't touch he can see them but he can't touch them right but he can see as well as touch the keyboard mouse or monitor cpu so all those things that we can see and touch are hardware so examples of hardware are keyboard monitor cpu etc next is software now what is software software is something that we can see but we can't touch for example operating system for example if you have a uh, windows in your laptop you can see it but you can't touch it so that is a software if you are using any word processor in your computer then it is a software you can't touch it now in this session we will see the whole computer system at once so let me explain this flow chart to you as we have seen that computer system is divided into two things first is hardware and second is software right so just write in chat box what do you understand by hardware yes priya google meet is also a software just write in chat box that what do you understand by hardware okay hardware is something that we can touch okay anything any other senses involved we can touch it we can see it perfect now what is software what is software yes priya you are correct we can only see the software we can't touch it right now we will see in hardware there are three things first is cpu second is storage devices and third is input output devices cpu consists of three things that shivam will take up this topic that what is alu what is control unit what is memory unit and in memory unit that is in cpu is known as primary unit and it consists of ram and rom ram also divided into sram that is static and dynamic ram rom also divided so shivam will take up that topic next is storage devices this topic will be covered by nishant now nishant will explain you that what is magnetic disk what is optical disk and what is solid state disk and he will also cover what are its various types next uh, i am will take up input output devices and input output devices he will differentiate between them tell you about the different um classifications of uh, several things for example keyboard mouse all those things will be covered by i am 
Next is software. Software are of two types. One is system software and second is application software. Now, system software are of two things like, for example, one is operating system, uh, Linux, Mac OS, Windows. These all are the operating system that runs on your computer, okay? Any one of them. Next is application software. Application software means all those software that you use in your daily life for convenience. For example, for Word document, you may use MS Word. For uh, attending this meeting, you are using Google Meet. So these all are the softwares that you use for increasing, you know, for increasing operationality in your life. Okay. So let us start. But before that, just move on to next slide, Nishan, please. Okay. But before that, let us see the flow of the data and instruction. Now, a control unit controls each and every unit in the system. You can see the arrow control unit controls the secondary memory, input output unit, um, or memory unit. So control unit controls each and every component in the computer system. Next is flow of data and instruction. As we know, data instruction, how it operates, it uh, go through the IPO cycle. Input gives input to the CPU. CPU processes it using secondary storage, right? And then gives the output to the output unit. So what is the flow of data and instruction? It is in the IPO cycle. Input, processing, and then output cycle. Okay, so now let us move on. And over to you, Nishan. Sorry, over to you, Shivam. Hello, everyone. I am Shivam Mida. Today, I am going to tell you what is CPU and what is primary memory and many more. Now, first, CPU. CPU stands for Central Processing Unit, and it is also known as the brain of the computer. Now, do you know CPU is further divided into three parts? First comes ALU, second comes CU, and finally comes the MU. Now, firstly, ALU, it stands for Arithmetic Logic Unit. Now, what is Arithmetic Logic Unit? It is a combinational digital electronic circuit. It performs operations like arithmetic operations and bitwise operations. Now, arithmetic operations, it includes subtraction, addition, multiplication, division, etc. Now, bitwise operations. It is a level of operations that involves working with individual bits. Each bit has a single binary value that is 0 or 1. Now comes CU. It stands for control unit. As, as we all know that it controls all the functions of computer. Like it tells the MU, ALU, input output devices, and secondary memory how to respond to the instructions that have been sent to the processor. Now, MU. It stands for a memory unit. It is also known as the storage area. It holds data or instructions, etc., that are needed by the CPU. Now, distribution of primary memory. It is divided into two parts. First, RAM, and second, ROM. RAM stands for random access memory, and ROM stands for read-only memory. Now, random access memory. This memory is only to read and write. And it is volatile in nature, therefore the data gets erased if not saved. And side by side it is temporary in nature. For example, if you are doing any work or making any file on any word processor and you are not saved that file. And suddenly the power cut gets off. Then that data or file will not be saved. Now distribution of RAM. It is also divided into two parts. First SRAM and second is DRAM. SRM, it stands for Static Random Access Memory. In this memory, constant power supply has to be given to hold the data. And in DRM, it stands for Dynamic Random Access Memory. In this memory, there is no need to provide constant power supply. It consists of transistors and capacitors that are used to store the data, so store some power which can be used. Now, read-only memory. This memory is only to read. It is non-volatile. Therefore, the data gets saved. And it, it is also permanent in nature. 
for example your photos games etc no no these are not the examples shiva these are the things that you store on your computer and it gets saved on your hard disk mainly right it is in uh, non volatile nature these are not the examples of rome you can continue now okay ma'am now distribution of rome it is divided into three parts first p rom second e prom and third is e e prom now p rom it stands for program programmable read only memory in this memory the instructions are not written by the manufacturer user can write it only once now second comes the e prom it stands for erasable and programmable read only memory in this memory we can remove the written data by using uv lights and then we can make the changes now last e e prom it stands for electrically erasable and programmable read only memory in this memory also we can remove the written data by using electricity thank you now i nishan is going to tell you about storage devices storage devices are of three types that are magnetic disk optical disk and solid state disk in magnetic disk there are floppy disk hard disk drive and magnetic tape in optical disk we are having cd dvd and blu ray disk in solid state we are having pen drive or an usb uh, the uh, the three types of uh, storage devices are magnetic disk and optical disk and solid state disk the magnetic disk are of uh, are consisting of floppy disk and optical disk consist of cd and in solid state we are having usb or a pen drive what is a magnetic disk in storage devices Uh, the shape of the magnetic disk are always round flat uh, so that they can give a rotated to uh, give access to all parts of the surfaces uh, the data can be stored in magnetically in magnetic disk in optical disk is in an optical disk such as cd and or a rom oh, so it's not cd oh. and rom it's cd rom cd rom types of cd rom uh, cds right yes ma'am what are types of magnetic disk uh, there are three types of magnetic disk that are floppy disk hard disk drive and magnetic tape the floppy disk can store up to up to 80 kilobytes in magnetic tape we are having 1 terabyte and in hard disk uh, hard disk drive it can store 1 terabyte and these just values may vary just wait nishan uh, in hard disk drive the tv the t of the tv should be t should be capital okay terabyte okay. t should be capital for example yes. you write md megabyte you write always uh, m in the capital right yes ma'am okay bachcha you can continue so what do you mean by optical disk Uh, the optical disc are digital versatile disc optical disc uh, is also known, known as odd uh, this um, these uh, in computer these are used this by the laser light to read the data from the uh, from or write the data cds and dvds and blu ray disc are some example of odd also allow us to play music or watch movie using pre recorded discs cd could store about 700 mb and dvd could store up to 4.7 gb and in blu ray disc we are having 25 gb these values may vary what is solid state of storage devices a solid state of uh, you can say solid state of uh, a drive like sdd in Uh, oh, oh, in optical disk drive we were seeing it odd in solid state drive we are seeing it sdd sdd replaces the traditional mechanical hard disk by using flash based memory which is significantly faster than the hard disk drives sdd are speed up uh, sdd speeds up the computer significantly due to the their low read access time and fast through and use uh, and usb can store up to uh, many uh, gbs like 4 gb 8 gb 16 gb 32 gb and so on last i would say thank you
Hello there. As you saw that, as earlier you saw that, Shivam took up the topic CPU. Nishan took up the topic storage devices. Now I am going to take up the topic I/O devices. I/O devices have many types, which is all I/O devices is also known as uh, input output devices. It has it has many types like keyboard, which is an input device, mice, mouse. It is also an input device. Uh, we have a monitor. It is an output device. Printer. It is an output device. Scanner. It is an input device. And a web camera, which is also an input device. I/O devices. Our uh, input output device is a hardware which is used by human operator to communicate with other uh, computer with other uh, computer. First, we have a keyboard. It is a input device. Keyboard is keyboard is a new style of the typewriter, which was also used to write novels and books. It, it, it uses an arrangement of buttons or keys. It also acts a, as a mechanical levers or electronic switches. There are many types of keyboard. Like you can see in the left left side that it is a qwerty type of keyboard starting with q w e r t y now we have one more type of keyboard which is also known as a which is known as a azerty type of keyboard it starts with a z e r t y and now we have one more example a dvorak type of keyboard Second device, we have a mouse. It's a, it, it is a good device. It is a handheld pointing device which detects two dimensional motion relative to a surface. There are two types of mouse, like a wired mouse and a wireless mouse. A wired mouse is connected to the computer, and a wireless mouse is connected by computer through Bluetooth. Third device, we have a monitor. It is an output device. It, it displays information in pictorial form. Then we have a printer. Printer is an output device. Uh, printer is an output device. It is also a peripheral device, which makes a persistence representation of graphics, text, usually on paper. We have two types of printer. It is at, at the left side we have an impact printer, and at the right side we have non-impact printer. Scan now another device. We have a scanner. It is an input device. It is a device for examining, reading, and monitoring. At last, we have a device which is a web camera. It is an input device. A webcam is a video camera which feeds on streams and image or video in real time to or through a computer to a computer network such as the internet. It is also used to join in video chats and video meetings. At last, I want to say that stay home, save lives, and thank you. Hi, I'm Sivang, and I'm going to tell you about types of software. There are two types of software, system software and application software. System software. Under system software, there are two more categories, operating system and device driver. What is a system software? A system software is a computer software designed to operate and control the overall operation and performance of a computer system. Now, I'm going to tell you some functions of system, of system software. A system software converts the data and instruction into binary form as binary form, binary language is the easiest language for computer that can easily be understood by the computer. And it also helps to read the data from the input devices and to transmit the processed information to output devices. 
to check the working order of all peripheral devices. Operating system. Operating system is a collection of programs that helps the computer to run. Uh, and its uh, examples are Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. Activities performed by operating system. Operating system performs common computer hardware function, provides the user interface and input output management, provide a degree of hardware independence, manage system memory, manage processing tasks, provides networking capability and controls to and control access to system resources and manage files. Now we are going to learn device driver. Device driver, it is a uh, device driver is a program that a computer's operating system uses to control a particular hardware device that is attached to the computer. Device sometimes in most of the operating system device drivers are built in, but they can also be installed when a new device is added to the system. Application software. Application software is a program or group of programs designed for end user. Examples of application, soft application software includes a word processor, a spreadsheet, an accounting application, and more. At last, I want to say thank you. So thank you, uh, Shivam, Nishan, Ayam, and Sevam for explaining the concepts beautifully. Now I just assume that you have understood everything, that what is hardware and software, what are its different type. I hope each and everything that is in the flowchart, you get it correctly. And if you have any doubt, you can write in the comment box. Last slide, please, Nishan. So this is the end of the session. If you still have any doubt, you can write in comment section. I will try my best to comment uh, to just reply to each and every one of you. Thank you.